The drumstick dash is a Thanksgiving Day tradition for thousands of people, but one man last week had an experience he could have never imagined. He suffered a heart attack right after crossing the finish line. The good news, he's alive, and he's telling his story of survival with Eyewitness News. Mary Mills has this story that you will see only on 13. Somewhere in the sea of runners were two first-timers, strangers who would meet at the finish line. Don Rawson would not recall a single thing. I had this little inkling like maybe I would do a little flourish at the end if I felt like it. If not, whoop de doo And that's the last thing I remember. Jenny Stites couldn't forget any of it. I cross and um, I look over and um, I see a set of feet just laying there. Jenny and friend Kristen Pickett McMullen, a respiratory therapist, stopped immediately. She rips off her neck guard, covers his mouth, starts giving breath, starts counting. Don was having a major heart attack. I was just thinking about a mom or a daughter or a son at home cooking a turkey, waiting for dad to come home. She later posted her account on Facebook. His life is in God's hands now. Thank you, Kristen. You may have helped save a life today. She and others did. Don came home from the hospital Sunday with wife Janet at his side. Very grateful, very grateful. But still recovering and still wondering. I don't know anything about who helped me. I didn't know a thing. I still don't. Until we asked Jenny to join us. Hi. I'm so happy you're here. It was an emotional meeting for both of them, for two strangers who suddenly felt a close bond. I don't know what you did. I don't even know who you are, but thank you. Don and Janet had lots of questions. So when you saw my feet, was I face down, face up, side? You were face up. Huh. But mostly, they expressed gratitude. I talked to the deputy mayor and the mayor last night. And the deputy mayor, used to be the fire chief, and he knows the odds of when you get in that situation that most more often than not, they're not uh, positive, so. And there were a number of others who helped until the ambulance arrived, including a doctor, a nurse, and really a whole team of people. And Don did send me a couple of text messages saying he's still overwhelmed at how many caring strangers came to help him. Yeah, well, when you piece it together, for not for being in that location and having those people there and the response and the doctors, you could have had a very different outcome. Right, a very happy ending. Yes, glad to say. Thanks for wow. sharing the story. Thank you, Mary. Quite